Hello there, I'm Andy Skinner with DecoArt and this is the first in a series of videos that I'm putting together which is called Product Profile. And the idea of this is so that we can look a bit more in depth into to some of the products and their uses and kind of explain some of the uh, misunderstandings of product. So we're going to start with the crackle mediums in the media range. So I'll change the camera angle and we'll go down to the desk. So the product profile today are the crackle mediums in the media line. I get asked more questions on these than anything else. I just want to take you through simply the difference between these three crackle mediums. So first up is the crackle glaze. Now this is a transparent glaze. You could consider it to be like a varnish that's going to crackle and when it dries you will see whatever's below it. So this piece here, I'll try to zoom in because the light's reflecting. So you'll see there that I've done an image transfer and then I've put a good coat of the crackle glaze over the top, let it dry naturally and it's the same with all three of these mediums. You have to let them dry naturally, no heat tools. And it will eventually set and it will crack and I've rubbed antique and cream into the cracks on here. Okay, so that, that's the crackle glaze. Uh, maybe crackle varnish would be the way to look at it. It's a varnish that's going to allow you to see everything through it. Next product is the Crackle Paint. Now this is a white opaque paint. Uh, to be applied with a brush, you can apply it with a palette knife as well, but it, I, I tend to find I, I, it works better with a brush. So this is, you're not gonna see what's underneath this. This is a, a coat on its own. You can tint it with up to 10% of the media fluid acrylics. I tend to paint it and then put washes on. So this is gonna give you a much, so we can focus in on that, a much finer crackle when applied thinly. Uh, and both of these items have just had washes. I think the one's got Prussian blue on it. Or you can paint them solid afterwards. Uh, and again, I normally antique them with some of the black antique and cream. Okay, and it's the same. If I apply this thicker, I will get thicker cracks. If I apply it thinner, I'll get finer cracks. So that's the crackle paint. Okay, the final one is the crackle paste. Uh, and probably one I use the most. So you can apply this with a palette knife. Uh, I wouldn't advise applying it with a brush, it has been done, but it's really designed to go on with a palette knife. And I'll show you this tag here. The thicker you put it on, you can get these lovely large cracks. The thinner, the tinier cracks. Again, you can tint this with the media fluid acrylics up to 10% of the, the paint. I tend to put washes on. Uh, so this piece here, so I've washed the paint afterwards, there's some interference paint on there as well. It will also go and hold through a stencil. So that was one of the main design purposes for this, this crackle paste. And it, it's really cool for a stencil. Again, no drying of this, you just let it dry naturally. Okay, if you live in a, a warm climate, there's nothing to say that you can't put it outside where the heat is. And more washes of colour on this one. So I hope that's just summed it up. We, we go through it again. Crackle glaze. It's a clear glazing varnish, I'd like to call it. We call it a glaze, but it's a varnish. Um, the thinner you put it on, the thicker. So it's the same with all these three products. The more you put on, the larger your crack is going to be. The crackle paint. It's a white, opaque crackle paint. You can colour it with the media fluid acrylics. You can uh, tint it with washes afterwards, or you could paint it solid. And the white crackle paste, it's a thick version of the paint. It's ideal for going through stencils or building up large cracks with texture. So I hope that's kind of explained those three mediums for you because I do get asked an awful lot, awful lot. So crackle glaze is clear. Crackle paint is a paint on crackle, which is opaque. Crackle paste, you apply with a palette knife, again, it's opaque.